myself with a child like Dana. I uh, married four years. We didn't live together first, which I kind of recommend now. Yeah, I'm a spokesman for living together. You know, I, I came right from my parents' house to living with a woman. And I'll tell you what, if you're going to do that, at least have someone brief you first. Because, you know, the first day is the crucial day. You make decisions on the first day. They don't seem like they're important, but they are. Like the, the side of the bed you're going to choose. You know, that seems simple enough, but don't overlook that because that's your side for life right there. There's no, there's no changing later on. And I blew the call. You know, I, I didn't look at the TV angle. Yeah, the phone access. I went with my childhood instinct. I took the side away from the door in case the boogeyman comes in. Okay. All right, boogeyman will get hurt. I'll be in my spaceship by then. If you're a sportsman, it's kind of hard being married, too. For me, it is. I'm having a hard time watching sports. The worst thing, the worst thing they do to a guy is when they put the game on during a holiday. Like Thanksgiving, they have football. Because then my whole family comes over. And I don't want to be rude, but I want to watch the game. We compromise during dinner. We put the TV on without the volume. And then I have to pretend like I'm paying attention to my family. And I'm like, Grandma, could you pass the uh, gravy? Pass the gravy! I'm open, Grandma! Can you get rid of the gravy! What are you looking at? Oh, you suck! Shut up. We should have got rid of her last year. Come on. I told you. So does her knees went. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. Yeah. Four years married. Italians. We're Italian. Italians here? Yeah. No, not too many. There's more. There's a whole bunch here. They're just, they're on the witness protection program now. Yeah. I had the very Italian house, the plastic furniture you couldn't sit on house. Did anybody have the museum house? For a kid, it's, no, it's traumatic. Towels you could never touch. Huh. China, no one's ever going to use. Everything is for a special occasion. That never happens. My mother was waiting for the Pope to show up for dinner. Or Sinatra. Or Chachi. Yeah, any prominent Italian. And when you eat over the house, if you ever eat over an Italian mother's house, or a Jewish mother, same thing, you have to trick them. When it comes to food, they're very neurotic. I tell my friends when they come over, I go, look, when you are done with the meal, my mother's going to try to give you more, okay? Listen, listen carefully. If you want a little bit more, tell her no. Just look her right in the eye. Oh, I'm full. Boom! A little bit more right there. Yeah. If you want a lot more, you tell her, okay, just a tiny bit more. Boom! Another meal, just like that. You stay one step ahead of her. And if you don't want any more, you have to shoot her. <laughs> no, 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 none for me. No, you take a little. Don't think so, Miss Romano. All right, back off. Back off, lady. Huh? No, put it back in the bowl. Go ahead. Go. Now hand the spoon to Ray. Nice and easy. She's got a cannoli in her apron. Shoot her. Shoot. And land one. Don't graze her. That'll piss her off. Yeah. Be careful there, because she'll take a bullet and keep coming. Oh, I warmed it up. Oh. 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 Yeah, she won't go down. I went to an Italian wedding. You know, I hate weddings. Only for one reason. I don't dance. And if you're at a wedding and you don't dance, you can't even step on the dance floor, because you're going to get sucked into something. Yeah, that, that train always gets me, you know? That annoying people train that always comes by. You don't even realize it, you know? Like, go on a men's room, I'll be right back. Yeah, just go on a men's room. Oh, fuck! <laughs> yeah, on a train. That's how that little move started. That's all people that were on their way to the men's room. Oh, oh I'm never gonna make it. Oh, 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 get me out of here. And you can't get off. You can't, you can't just disengage, because then you're the conductor for whoever's attached to you right now. Uh, hey, I'm going to the men's room. Get off. Get off me. 
Get off. Last stop. Right here. Get off. Get off. They'll stay on. They'll follow you right in. Hey, where's he going? Hey. Oh. Oh, he stopped. Oh, shake, everybody. Shake. 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 All right. Thank you. You're a great audience. It's a great town here. Where are we? Happy? <laughs> went shopping, me and my wife today. She wants a car phone now, for no apparent reason. Yeah, she has to have a car phone. Because a friend has one. People are so obsessed with the phone. You know, they want a phone everywhere. They're going to, soon, they're going to make a phone into a little chip. You know, a little microchip. Everyone's just going to have it surgically implanted in their ear. Yeah, we're all going to have phone heads. You know, yeah. Wherever you go. I got a call coming. Right, wait one second. Oh, hi, Joe. How are you? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, nice to hear from you. Oh, we're on the line. i got to put you on hold. Hey, Billy, how are you, Bill? Yeah, how are ya? Can't hear you, there's people clapping. What do you say? Yeah, no, Joe's on the other line. I'll put you on conference. Yeah, talk to Joe. Yeah, yeah how are you guys? What's up? Oh, hold on, guys, I'm getting a fax. What? Second. 